let's say you have these videos and you kind of want either some interaction with students or you want them to answer questions during the videos. Uh, it's kind of cool. This is already set up in here. So what I did is I created, um, well, this first one I have here, my welcome video, but I created a folder. So I just went up to build content, content folder, and then all my lecture videos will be in here. Now when I come in here, I can build content. Hello. And there is something called play posit. Now you can play around with this a lot. There's going to be different types of videos, uh, different types of questions that you can put in here. So I named it. Um, I don't know. I can name this one something new that I haven't done yet. Let's say lecture four derivative functions. That sounds good. And this will be my video and I can put whatever I want in here. And then mine, I'm ha having the students do for an actual grade. So I enable evaluation. <coughs> evaluation. The only problem points possible <coughs> is you're going to see that, sorry, I'm starting to cough. <laughs> you're going to see that the most you can give per question is 10. So if you're not going to have 10 questions, you may not have 100 points. So I actually came back and ended up changing this later due dates um, and all this stuff down here you probably don't need to mess with. All right, so let's let's just look at one of mine first to see what this is doing. So I have my first video. When the students click on this, it'll it will actually take them to the video. Mine now and and this is when you create your new one, this is what it will look like. We well, don't really have anything to preview. You don't have this is going to be their grades to download. So what you want to do is just enter, play pause it, and then you're going to see you want to add a new bulb. All right, so add a new bulb, and let me let me work, walk you through a couple of these steps. I don't want to make this a really long video because I can answer questions as they come up, but when you open this, what's kind of cool, and so I'm just going to be the designer, just click off the side, you already have videos, right? And that's the cool part. You can just bring your videos in here. Now I use YouTube. I have my YouTube videos. So my YouTube videos I brought in here, but there's different things that you can add when you add um, the video that you have and you can even record at the same time. So let me show you what this looks like because I'm getting so excited for you to see this. Um, let's just play my welcome video. So I'm going to preview it. And, and a lot of this stuff, I know you guys get nervous when you get in here learning new stuff. You just play around with it. And you're like, oh, well, that's kind of cool that I can do that. I can do that. And it's a little slow loading, but hey, there I am. So I press play. Are you ready for the summer? And then we're ready for the summer. Are you ready for the summer? And so this is actually my YouTube video. So I know you're going, okay, that's not great. Hi there. A big deal. Happy summer. Notice these little dots here. You, but Each one of these dots are class. where I get some type of an interaction. Like I told a joke. You probably didn't hear it. Was my joke funny? I'm, Cindy's always funny. Yes. Notice the video pauses and then they submit it and then they can continue, they can move on with the video. I'm so Cindy, you can I'm ask any type of questions in here. Journey, so uh, what's cool, so I just wanted you to see that first. What world? What's cool is the different types of questions that you can ask. So let me go to edit. And this, this is after you add your video, what it's gonna look like. I know I'm kind of all over the place with this, but I don't want this to be a you know 20 minute video. I just wanna introduce you to this to let you get in here and play around with it. Um, it's only showing that because I had, I actually got a student to try to test this for me. So notice the interactions that I have here. And this is where I found out um, this, I didn't make worth points, but if I wanted to, I can make this worth points, move it over. Um, are you staying home? What's the name of Cindy's dog? <laughs> this is a welcome video. Okay. So these type questions, um, I probably won't make worth it any points except something like their textbook is free, open source, and all that kind of good stuff. But what's cool when you add an interaction here, you have all these different choices and you can even do a poll like, 
you know, hey, are you still there actually listening to this? Um, one of the poll questions I remember asking them, um, you know, how long has it been since you've had a math class? You know, things of that sort. You get them to kind of kind of interact in here. But there's all these different types of things. And what, what you'll really like is when you come in here, say, to multiple choice or whatever. Oh, look at there. There is an equation editor. So you can put math equations in here. So it's kind of cool. You know, again, I just wanted to introduce this very quickly. I didn't want this to be a very long video. Um, if you get stuck on anything, like it won't take something, uh, you know, feel free to shoot me an email. And I hope you enjoy it because I, I think it's a way that if you're putting up videos that you at least know your students are watching them. And guess what? They can't fast forward past it and then everybody go on group me and put answers, right? They have to go through each one of these um, interactions. So enjoy.